Ready? Set? Let's go. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's Christina and welcome to day six of the Healthy for the Holidays book launch challenge. Thank you so much for joining me. We are making nine videos in nine days to help get you healthy for the holidays. And there's a bonus video coming for you on day 10. If you haven't already signed up for this free challenge or if you have not already gotten your shopping list or meal plan, you can get them now on my website at fullyrod.com or click on the link in the description of this video. Your goal is to eat just one fully raw meal a day throughout this challenge and hopefully throughout the rest of the holidays. The purpose of this challenge is to inspire you to eat healthy during this season and to celebrate the launch of my first book coming out in January called The Fully Raw Diet. This challenge gives you the opportunity to order the book online before it's released in stores nationwide. You can even gift a copy to one of your friends this season or this holiday. And did I mention this challenge has a ton of giveaways? When you go to the website, you will see a sign up page where you can submit your email and sign up for different levels of entry to win a ton. You guys, more prizes than I've ever given out before and this is a thank you for all of your support for me, to me after all these years. All the different ways for you to win are outlined here. Everyone who signs up and who actively participates daily by liking and commenting on these videos and sharing them will be entered in a raffle and eligible to win one of the following. A Vitamix blender, a Juice Presto juicer, a cool fully raw produce shopping bag, glass straws, t-shirts, a spiralizer, a year's worth of water from Evermore Water, and a cute wooden utensil set. The more you engage and share, the more points you will build to win one of these prizes. And on top of that, if you participate and purchase a copy of my book, you're entered in to win even more prizes that include things like a PDF bonus of recipes that are not included in my book, random phone calls for me to brighten up your day, a dinner made for you by me, and yes, this includes anywhere, some of my personal gemstone bracelets, body butters, and more. To sign up for this challenge, please go to my website at fullyrod.com or click on the link in the description of this video. It's day six of this Healthy for the Holidays challenge and today's topic is kind of deep. One of the topics that I've been asked to talk about is depression and addiction during the holidays. It's something that many people really struggle with. Some to different degrees and some in different stages, but I think we can all relate in one form or another. This includes things like feeling lonely during the holidays, overeating sweets, getting addicted to bad foods, eating late at night, alcohol abuse, family fights, and more. The holidays are really wonderful to celebrate the season, but if you don't have the right tools to get you through them in a healthy fashion, the holidays may not be so fun for you. So today, I wanna to give you my best advice on how to overcome holiday depression and addiction. Are you ready? Eat clean, clean foods, fruits and vegetables. Eat one fully raw meal a day. As mundane as that may sound, what you put into your body makes a huge difference. If you're eating clean, vibrant, nutrient-rich fruits and vegetables, you're going to feel more energized and ultimately happier. From my personal experience, I have gone from dreading the holidays to absolutely loving the holidays even more because I'm not making myself miserable with poor food choices. Eating one fully raw meal a day can help you to keep your weight down during the holidays, which keeps you from being upset that you gained holiday weight. Remember that eating healthy isn't a diet, it's a lifestyle. Stop yo-yo dieting and make a real commitment to yourself to achieve greater health. Exercise daily. This is a must, people. Exercising releases endorphins, which elevates your mood, which makes you happier. Also, when you exercise, you're more likely to feel confident in your body, which ultimately leads you to feeling happier and less stressed during the holidays as well. Be brave enough to look within yourself and ask, why am I depressed? Why am I addicted? Why am I unhappy? It's easy to complain about things, but 
Courageous souls are the ones who ask, how can I use this as a stepping stone and as a growth opportunity? How can I allow this experience to mold me into a better person? How can I change? Addictions. We all have something that we're addicted to. Your next step in this process is finding something that is a positive substitute. If you're a wine drinker, drink tons of pomegranate juice instead. If you're an overeater, overeat on fruit. If you're a late night muncher, munch on greens. If you're a late night crier, either go to sleep earlier or build a support system who can call you at night or you can call them at night. These are just some examples. You'll most likely have some withdrawals at first, but if you commit yourself to it, you will experience a change unlike any other. Don't just adopt healthy habits, but plan them. Make a list of five things that really frustrate you about your current circumstances and make a list of five things that you can do to shift that. Understand that change takes patience and time. Allow these obstacles to be your springboard and not your quicksand. This one's kind of hard. Learn to say no. Things will tempt you. People will try to persuade you. Practice your response. Be strong and confident in your decisions. Say no. Make one goal for yourself. Write it down somewhere where you can see it every day and check in with that goal every day to make sure that you did it. Screw being realistic. If you desire happiness, you can have it. The only person telling you that you cannot do something or cannot achieve something is yourself. Dream big, live big, love big, love yourself. Know your triggers. There are some things that will automatically set you off. Avoid those situations or be prepared for them when they come. Reach out, create a support system. You're not alone and you cannot do this alone. You don't need a million friends. You just need one or two people, friends who really believe in you and who support you and vote your victory. Most importantly, you need to be kind to yourself and love yourself through your imperfections. Lastly, be open and vulnerable. Communicate. Sometimes I find that talking about your fears or your challenges in the open kills the cancer, so to speak. It sets you free. The more that you share your feelings, struggles, questions, passions, whatever they may be, the more others will be able to help you and support you. Stand strong in your beliefs and don't be afraid. And more often than not, we are more afraid of what people will think than anything else. If you're confident and happy in your choices, they will be too. All right, you guys, how are you feeling? If you're participating in this challenge and if you have appreciated this video, if you're excited to be here, please give this video a thumbs up and comment below. What are your goals for this challenge? If you need more tips, tricks, or recipes on how to go fully raw, please subscribe here to Fully Raw Christina as we have fun challenging each other to get healthier. I am so excited that you are starting this journey with me. Go sign up now if you haven't already. Submit your email. Please buy a copy of my book. Get multiple copies to share them with your family and your friends this holiday. Get ready for day seven coming up. I love you guys so much and I send you all my thanks and my hugs and my love. Bye.